Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Mike McCarvel, and in this episode, we're going to build the Lewis King's Wagon Making Shop from Best Trains. So, uh, there are notes to the video, also links in there if you want to subscribe to the channel and that type of stuff. Uh, I want to thank Brian for allowing me to present this video of this kit build um, in our video series. So, okay, I took care of business. Now, let's get to the kit. So, this is a um, there's a couple businesses in this. There's Ure Stables. There's signage for that. There's uh, uh, A. Kimball Painter uh, for that. Uh, the doors, you can open them up, put wagons and stuff in there. Along one wall is a whole bunch of windows. Looks like there's uh, stable stalls along that wall. So um, the interior, you can take the roof off if you model it that way. And um, the entire building underneath is open. There's a second floor in there. So there's a lot of interior detail you can do. We're not going to do that in this video. That's up to you guys. We may do it later, but for right now, we're just going to do a straight kit build according to the instructions. So this is a building that was in historically in Ure, Colorado. At the very end, I'll show you a black and white photo of the actual two structures. Now the Times Printing Office sitting next to it. That's an earlier build from Best Trains. Um, we did that as well, so go check that out in the uh, earlier videos. So basic um, four walls and a roof, nothing fancy. It's just big. There's just a lot of windows, a lot of corbels. I think there's 48 separate uh, corbel pieces. Um, I didn't count the windows. There's probably 30-ish of those. Um, there is four big barn door openings and uh, two sliders on the inside for that. So um, a lot of options for colors. Now, I went to the Sherwin-Williams site, and I looked up some historic uh, paint colors. So I based the colors that I chose based on stuff that was closer to what was available at the time. Um, I don't know if my retinas can take the uh, ultra-bright turquoise that uh, Brian wanted to jazz up his layout with. So <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm glad he's a uh, brave with color. I like to do a little more historic stuff. So... That turquoise, that's the last you're going to see of it. We're moving on, <laughs> and we're going to go look at the different color. So um, let's go ahead and jump in. Uh, typical kit build, we're going to go ahead and do a parts overview, and then we'll take it, uh, the instructions, one shot at a time, and you guys will get to see every single step that's involved. And then once it's done, uh, I'll give you a, a, a 360-degree view of the structure, um, so you can see all the sides, how it came out, and um, other than that, uh, let's get to it.
Okay, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Once again, I want to thank you guys for watching. And uh, don't forget to subscribe because we've got a lot more videos coming. So until next time, happy modeling, and we will see you guys on the end next episode. See ya.